This is how I would learn to day trade if I could start completely over. For some context, I've been trading for about eight years now. Man, I feel old. I originally went to college for finance, graduated, got my degree, was thinking about going into investment banking, you know, the whole typical college route. But then I said, F that. Why would I do that when there's stock trading? I instantly got hooked and I realized I could make just as much money if not more from trading than a quote unquote real job. So I studied my ass off, putting in years of my time to try to learn all the ins and outs of the stock market. I've been teaching and mentoring premium members in my discord for a while now and even made my own private indicator engineered with all the things I've learned throughout the years about algorithmic trading. Now I'll admit straight from the get go, when I first started trading I was terrible, like no actually, trash. And I could only imagine if I found a video exactly like this one teaching me step by step on how to go about learning to trade right from the start like some wax on wax off type of shit, it would have made my learning curve go through the roof. So that's exactly why I'm making this video because I know how much this video would have helped me in the beginning of my trading journey. First things first, knowledge is power. I cannot stress this enough. You should always be learning and trying to improve your trading. I to this day still learn on a day to day basis. I'm constantly trying to improve myself when it comes to trading. I've easily watched 10,000 plus hours of trading YouTube videos throughout my years of trading. And even with all of my experience, I'm still learning new advanced trading techniques every single day. So I guess the point I'm trying to get across is never become complacent. You should always be trying to improve. Always. The next tip is probably one of the most important tips I can give. There are three stages to trading. The learning phase, the testing phase, and the execution phase. Now, I cannot tell you how many of my students watched The Wolf of Wall Street, said, Hey, that looks fun. Watch three trading YouTube videos and expect to become millionaires by the next day. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? When first starting out, you should not be thinking about the profits at all. You should purely be focusing on learning, finding a strategy, testing said strategy, and trying to improve as a trader. The profits will be a complete byproduct of your knowledge. Put in the true effort to learn and the money will come later. I promise. Which brings me to my next point. You should start off with the trading simulator. So boring. Now, I know, trading simulators, boring, I get it. But listen, especially if you're a new trader, use a trading simulator. When I first started, I went straight into a live account. What an idiot! Which is an absolute terrible idea. Like, if there's a to-do list for new traders, step one is lose money. It's almost guaranteed. If you're a new trader, you're probably gonna lose money. So, you might as well save that money, practice first, until you're confident in your trading ability. Then, use real money. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Now, the trick is, you have to trade this trading simulator money like it's your very own. Treat it like it's real money. Try to make yourself believe it's actually real. So, you're feeling the same exact emotions as you would in a live trade. It's a lot easier said than done, but it's very important that you try to do this. You should only move to a live account when you have found a successful strategy, have done thorough testing, learned how to control your emotions, learn risk management, etc. And most importantly, you are consistently profitable with your strategy. Only then should you move to a live account. A lot of new traders move through this phase way too fast and end up losing a ton of money they shouldn't have. Only move forward when you are truly ready. Do not rush it. Now, my next tip is find Find the right broker. Now, this is a pretty important step, as some brokers are a lot better than others. I feel like I've used every single broker out there by now. I've tried all the good ones, and have also used the not so good ones. I'll help you out right from the get go. If you're interested in trading Forex or crypto, I would 100% recommend Hanker Trade. They have some of the lowest fees and spreads on the market, and also have a very user friendly dashboard. Plus, one of the coolest things about their platform is that they have a 100% deposit bonus up to 25 grand. So if you deposit $25,000, Hanker Trade will literally match that and give you $25,000 for free. They're just that awesome. If you want that deposit bonus, sign up with the link in my description, deposit whatever you want, and they will match it. Next tip is find a mentor. Now, when I first started, I personally tried to create my very own strategy with my very own rule set, with my very own testing, with basically no experience in my pocket at all. There is absolutely no need to reinvent the wheel here. If someone else is doing 
doing something that works, most likely it'll work for you too. That's why I'd recommend finding a mentor. There's tons of free information on YouTube, the internet, Discord servers, everywhere. I personally post new videos every single week for absolutely free, all with extremely valuable information in them. And there's tons of YouTubers that do the exact same thing. Find one you like and watch as many videos as you can from them. Me personally, I'll just set aside one day like a Sunday and purely just use that day for learning. That whole day I'll just watch YouTube videos, read trading books, etc. I would also extremely recommend joining a trading community. For example, I have a Discord where you can join for absolutely free and talk to other like-minded traders that want to learn just like you. What's nice about this is you can post your charts, ask questions, or even see other people's ideas and strategies and see what works for them. There are tons of nice people in my Discord server and a lot of them would be happy to help you on your trading journey. Plus, some of my closest friends today I met through the Discord server, so you could build some really cool relationships. The more people you meet and learn from, the better. Surround yourself with successful traders and you too will become successful. My next tip is keep a trading journal. I to this day still keep track of all of my trades. If I ever have a losing trade, I'll take note of it and look back at it and try to figure out what I did wrong. Did I enter in a good spot? Was I letting my emotions get the best of me? Did I exit too early? Did I exit too late? Did I chase the trade? Whatever it is, I figure it out so I don't make that mistake again. This is obviously going to be a game changer. If you consistently realize your mistakes and fix them immediately, it's one of the fastest ways to improve as a trader. You should not only be doing this with your losing trades, but also do it with your winning ones. What did you do right? That way, you can figure it out, find certain patterns in your winning trades, and keep replicating those winning tendencies in future trades. There's a ton of sites that can automatically keep track of your trades for you, so you don't have to manually do it yourself. I'll leave one in the description if you want to check it out. This next tip is extremely important. Important. You have to realize you do not need to be in a trade 24 7. Listen, I get it. I wake up at 6 30 in the morning every single day to do all my stock preparation, morning analysis, look at charts, and some mornings I do all of that work and wake up extremely early for absolutely nothing because the market is bad that morning and I didn't end up taking a single trade that day. It's really frustrating because you basically did all that work for nothing. But you have to learn that if there isn't a good setup, there isn't a good setup. You shouldn't be forcing anything. Only enter when you're 100% confident in the setup and the likelihood that the trend will go in the direction you want it to. The trade is iffy and you're thinking, well, I might as well. Don't do it. The market is always going to be here, so there really is no reason to force anything. One of my all-time favorite quotes in trading is, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient, which is so true. And actually, I'd say that's what separates a good trader from a great trader. A great trader knows when to sit on their hands and not enter in anything. My final tip is to find a successful strategy and test the shit out of it. Luckily for you, in this video, I go over one of my very own strategies that has proven to work for me in the past. Go check that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.